<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be my favorites of the month. So let's go ahead and get into all the products that I have here. So the first thing I'm gonna start out with is something that I'm like majorly obsessed with. Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. I'm not a huge fake tan type of person. Like I've never been one to obsess over tanning. I think it's cause I'm Mexican and I get really dark in the summer. The color it gives you is beyond beautiful. It's the vacation tan that everybody wants. It's not so much an orange undertone. It has a very olive undertone, which is amazing. Like that's the kind of tan that you want. It comes with an applicator. I will say that the applicator that it comes with made it really difficult for me to apply it. At first I thought it was the formula and I was like, wow, this stuff is actually kind of hard to blend in. Um, but then I used another mitt that I had from another tanning kit and it was a lot easier. So the two colors that I have used from this tanning system is the Two Hour Express, and this is in the shade Dark, and it's for medium to dark skin tones. And then the one I used the other night is the Ultra Dark, and this one says it's for experienced tanners only. So I was a rebel because I'm not experienced, but it came out amazing and it was super easy to apply. I recommend these tanners if you guys haven't tried them. I know you guys wanted a review because I did post them on Instagram, but my review is they're amazing, easy to blend, they're not blotchy, best tanner I've ever used, and it has an olive undertone, which is amazing because we don't want to look super orange up in here. That's that. So the next item I'm gonna talk about is the Tartlet Palette by Tarte Cosmetics. You guys have seen me use this in my videos recently. This is just an amazing neutral matte palette. You guys know I love neutral colors and I love matte eyeshadows because I feel like, where was I? There's really nothing negative about this palette. The blendability of the eyeshadows is amazing. The pigment is great. There's no fallout and it's just a great palette. It's also super cute. Like I love the packaging. I think it's really like Barbie-esque. For primers this month, I have been loving, loving, loving two primers. You guys have seen me use both of these and I'll tell you why. They're my favorites for different reasons. I'll start first with the Tarte Primer. This is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. And this one is more of a thick consistency. Definitely something that will help if you have larger pores because it's really gonna fill them in. That's why I like this. When I wanna do more of a full coverage makeup look, I'm definitely going for this. Also really good to block out um, any sweat or oil, it just gives you a smooth base for your foundation. For everyday makeup, I love to use the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Primer. This primer is really lightweight. It feels very moisturizing. It gives my skin a really dewy look and that's why I like it for everyday. It's just super light. I definitely recommend this one. I lost the cap because I lose the cap to everything. Makeup Forever HD. Another face product I have been loving this month is the Benefit Puff Off Instant Eye Gel to help smooth the look of puffiness. So this stuff is awesome. I used it for the first time in my JLo video and I actually asked you guys if you noticed a difference throughout the video. You guys told me that it made a huge difference. I looked at the footage and I was like, yeah, it did make a big difference. I tend to get super puffy in the morning and just a fact about me, I do not film in the morning. I don't do anything in the morning because I look, have you guys ever seen the Emperor's New Groove, like Yzma? You guys know who I'm talking about? If you guys like Disney movies like me. Um, I have like the worst puffiness. Like I, I don't know why I look so puffy in the morning, but I do. And this stuff I've been loving. The packaging of this is super cute. It actually has a little iron or a little plancha on the end of it. And it even has a picture of it right here. So this is an instant eye gel to help smooth the look of puffiness. And the little iron at the end is cold to the touch. So I actually did it wrong in my JLo video. I applied it and then I used my fingers to pat it in but you're actually supposed to pat it in with this applicator because it is very cold and the coldness of it is supposed to reduce the puffiness as well. I found that it works either way, whether I use my finger or whether I use this applicator. Honestly, it takes so long to blend it in with this applicator that I'm just like, I'll use it for a second and then I'm like, no. Okay, so you guys know I'm a big fan of eyebrows because I don't have them. Mm -hmm but I try my best to make them look as natural as possible and I have been using less eyebrow products lately, kind of trying to go for the most natural brow that I could get. It's really hard for me because I don't really grow brow hairs here. It's hereditary, I believe, because my mom has it and my aunt has it. Don't shave them off, I don't pluck them off, I just don't grow them there. I've been using this Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Caramel. The color is perfect for my hair color because it's not too light and it's not too dark. It just has that really nice, slight warm undertone. It doesn't smudge off throughout the day, it stays, it's very hard. 
it's not creamy. So like creamy eyebrow pencils tend to smudge away. The pencil gives me a more natural effect on the brows. Bottom line is, for every day, I have been loving this and I've been using this eyebrow pencil. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna talk to you guys about is the Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks. I'm sure, I'm like late to the game. I've been using these, but I haven't really put them in a favorites video. Some of my favorite colors are Pure Hollywood and American Doll because it's the perfect red and this is like a really great nude. These are slightly different than any other liquid lipstick I've tried in the sense of the texture. The texture almost feels like a, you know the NYX uh, matte lip, what are they called? Like the matte lip creams? They have a really soft, creamy texture. These have that same feeling. However, they dry completely matte so they don't transfer. You can kiss. <laughs> You can kiss, you can eat, and this stuff is gonna stay on all day. And the thing about wearing a bold lip is I'm always fearful that it's like on my teeth or like on my chin after I eat, and that doesn't happen with these. Some liquid lipsticks can be very drying, and these don't dry your lips out at all. And they're amazing, I absolutely love them. So the next item I'm gonna talk about is this Milani blush. It just feels like a high-end product. These blushes make you glow from within. I have a few of these colors and I love all of them. This one is Rose de Oro. De Oro? Rose de Oro. They have the most beautiful sheen. Doesn't make you look too shiny or anything. Nikki Tutorials, my home girl on YouTube. She uses Luminoso a lot. She uses it a lot. Just like I use Matt Give Me Sun, that's like the equivalent of how much she uses it. And so I was like, I need that blush, I need it. I need it in my life and I got it and I love it. I love all of their colors, they're beautiful. They have a really large range of colors. Um, yeah, Milani baked blushes, go try them, they're amazing. The next thing I'm gonna talk to you guys about is the Jouer Cream Highlight. Ugh, this is the best cream highlight I've ever tried in my life. This is in the shade, I'm gonna say this wrong, I call it Tier, but I'm sure it's like, Tiari or Tierre or Terre. <laughs> I've already gone too far as to pronounce it Tier that I can't really take it back. Like, you know when you sing a song, you sing the wrong lyrics and then um, you just keep singing the wrong lyrics even though you know that you're wrong? That's pretty much how I've, how I've gotten with this. But this cream highlight is unlike anything I've ever tried. I really don't care for cream highlighting products. I kind of feel like they can tend to sit on the skin weird. It's hard to put them over powder. You really can. It's, it's just not my thing. Cream highlight's never been my thing. This cream highlight is my jam. I just use my finger to apply. It's super quick, super easy, and it almost just looks like a glow from within. It's not super glittery. If I don't want to wear a lot of makeup, sometimes I'll just put this on the high points of my face and I just look healthier. Like it's just so beautiful and I love it and I don't know what else to say. It's just really good. So a non-beauty item that I've been loving is this giant water mason jar. I'm like obsessed with this thing. It does not leave my side these days. I made a vow to myself that I would drink more water because I suck at drinking water. I drink a lot of coffee and I forget to drink water. So I wanted to challenge myself to drink at least six of these a day. This is a 32 ounce. Um, container and I have been drinking a lot. It's almost like a challenge for me and when it's empty, I'm like, oh, I need to go fill it up again. I always put lemon in it just because I feel like it looks cuter and when something looks cute, I wanna use it. That's just such a typical girl thing of me to say, but um, it also tastes better and sometimes I'll put strawberries in here or cucumbers and lemon. It's just, I don't know, I love this. I got it at Target. It's insulated also, so it keeps everything really cold. It doesn't, pers uh, what's that, perspire? Precip perspire? You know, yeah, it doesn't, that's what I'm trying to say, right? You know when it gets wet on the outside? <laughs> Brain dead. I love this, I take it everywhere. I recommend you guys drink a lot of water because if you drink a lot of water, your skin will be really nice. So do it. So another thing I've been loving lately is sunglasses, like really fun, funky, Sunglasses, I just think they make an outfit super cute and it's just fun to switch up your sunglasses every once in a while. So I'm gonna show you guys a few of my favorites. I recently was gifted these and these are by Woodsy. Uh, these are made out of wood and I think that's super cool. It's even carved on the inside, it says Woodsy. They have a retro vibe and I just think that they're different, they're unique, they're made out of wood, that's really cool. They match my hair color, kind of, you know? So. I dig it. I've been getting a lot of questions on these. I posted them on Instagram, boom. 
you guys can see everything. So these I actually got at Nordstrom's. They were only $12, hey. I saw them and I was like, I need those sunglasses. They're cute, they're $12. Ray-Ban makes some, looks just like this and I think they're really expensive, so holla. I have these two sunglasses from Quay. The first ones are these, boom. These are awesome because they're huge. You can be like incognito with these and nobody's gonna see your face because they're so big. All their sunglasses are fairly priced. I think they're around $40. This other pair that I have here are like cat eye and they're clear. How cute are these? They're so fun. Super cute. All right, so lastly, I have this mascara. This is by Benefit. You guys know I'm not a huge mascara person because my eyelashes are not long. Mascara to me is just something to make my eyelashes blend with my false eyelashes. However, I did go to a party for Benefit and they were launching this mascara. They were presenting it as a mascara that will curl your lashes without using an eyelash curler, but it's supposed to give you the same effect. So I was super skeptical, like, <laughs> No way, like that's impossible to me, that a mascara wand will curl your lashes. I actually tried it and it worked, like it really does work. This is a great mascara, I was so surprised. I was super excited to share it with you guys. I really wanna see it on somebody who has longer eyelashes. I've only tested it on myself obviously and it curled my little bitty lashes really nicely. This mascara is phenomenal. If you guys are looking for a new mascara, this one is the bomb. And the packaging's super cute. Speaking of lashes, I know you guys are very curious to hear my thoughts on eyelash extensions because I did get them done right before I went to New York. And I just quickly wanted to mention why I went to New York because I did share it on my Snapchat, but I did not share it with you guys here on YouTube and I'm really excited about it. Um, I didn't even want to talk about it until it happened because I'm just, I don't know, I'm. I'm always like superstitious about talking about things if they haven't happened because I feel like, oh my God, what if they don't happen? And anyways, uh, I got asked to shoot a two page spread with Cosmo Latina and I thought it was just like the biggest honor. I was super excited and I'm so happy that I finally get to talk to you guys about it. Uh, the shoot was insanely amazing and I just, ugh, I was, it was one of those pinch me moments where you just feel like, is this really happening? Did I just, shoot for Cosmo, like, I don't know, it was awesome. So thank you guys, because it was definitely uh, revolved around YouTube, and um, I just wanted to thank you guys. Back to eyelashes, uh, they wanted to shoot me a little bit more natural with less makeup, and which is totally fine, like I love less makeup, I love the more light makeup type of look, but um, I don't have eyelashes, I just don't have very good hair growth, I guess you could say. Um, you guys know my eyebrows are very sparse. My eyelashes are very tiny. Um, I've actually like never grown hair on my legs, random fact. I've never had to shave my legs because I just don't really grow hair. It's, it's very strange. So um, I think it's just hereditary. My mom's like that too. I was like, maybe I should get lash extensions. I told her I wanted a very natural, like not too long and I just, wanted them to look like my own lashes and they looked beautiful. Um, I didn't want them long term, I already, pretty much have them all off except for like a few like lingering. I wanted them off right when I got back because it is difficult to do winged eyeliner. Overall, I loved having eyelash extensions only because it was so easy to get ready. You don't need to do anything. It just kind of looks like you're ready already. They're not hard to take care of. I will say that as somebody who does YouTube videos, it's really hard to do dramatic makeup looks while wearing them. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to having eyelashes. Um, it's harder for me to do winged liner, so I wouldn't have them on a normal basis because I do so much makeup. I film, I take makeup off, I film, I take makeup off, and it's just not good for your eyelashes if you do that with these. I've had individual lashes done in the past and I didn't like them as much. So I think it definitely has to do with who you go to. I didn't have any eyelash fallout with these other than my natural lash fallout that you have, your lashes fall out naturally. I didn't feel like I was getting any bald spots. I'm already almost, I almost have all of them off already. I've been kind of low key trying to get them off so that I could film like a more dramatic makeup look. Um, and I didn't find that they took any of my eyelashes off. Mm, what else? I did apply mascara every now and then and they looked fine. They didn't fall out. So all in all, I would say that my experience with eyelash extensions is great but if you are somebody who wears a lot of eye makeup, it may be a little difficult to maintain them. So if you're somebody who doesn't wear a lot of eye makeup and you just wear mostly shadow, they're great. 
that's my two cents on individual lashes and I'll definitely link my friend who does them down below because she is like the best. I think I'm done. <laughs> All right guys, so that's it for my favorites video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Sorry, I'm not that great at favorites videos. I'm working on it. Um, I'm working on describing things a little bit better and just not rambling so much. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. That's about it, I'm done rambling. I'll let you guys go now. Have a nice day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. These are the sunglasses I wear when I'm blocking out the haters. I can't, my brain is not connecting to my mouth. Oh, where's the haters? Oh, I don't see them. <laughs> I suck at favorites videos, I really do. <laughs> There's a hater now. I think I had too much coffee now. <laughs> <laughs> Just shake it off. <laughs> Girls love packaging. <laughs> My brain is just like. Is that? That was good. That was good. That was good.